ladies and gentlemen. Today's guide will be as mentioned in the title about the damage, firearms, firearm scaling, and DPS. And next to that, the best weapon in each weapon category in terms of DPS. We did it through a formula that included the base damage, rate of fire, magazine size, and reload speed. Accuracy and stability have been left out, for the sake of simplicity. The sources that we used for this are mentioned in the description. First, you want to know how firearms works. Firearms doesn't affect your damage directly, but it affects the base bullet damage of your weapon. But that's not all. Each weapon has its own firearm scaling. This is a multiplier that scales on your firearm. For example, the Urban MDR has firearm scaling of 3.3, which means that for every point of firearms you get, you're gonna get 3.3 increased bullet damage. We also implemented this in the DPS formula. We will review the marksman rifles separately, because the absence of accuracy and stability affects the DPS too much. The same goes for burst weapons, except that it's the rate of fire that's affected here. In the list we will mention the maximum bullet damage, among other statistics. This maximum bullet damage assumes that the weapon's base damage and firearms are at their maximum. The total firearms you can get is 9502. This comes from the base firearms, which is added to the maximum firearms roll on 6 pieces of gear, and 5 maxed out firearms mods. We calculated which weapons are the best for the lowest firearms as well, but sadly there's no difference here. With the explanation out of the way, let's get into the results. Keep in mind that we didn't include unique weapon talents, headshot damage, crit chance and crit damage in our formula. So this is solely base damage. Let's start with the assault rifles. There's one clear winner, of course, which is the Urban MDR. It has an astounding maximum base damage of 57,767. And after applying our formulas on it, the result is a damage per second of almost 200,000. This seems low, but just wait. We said this is without any other multipliers. So, adding headshot damage and crit chance and critical damage and any other talent that you might have, this goes up by quite a bit. The second place for the assault rifles goes to the G36 actually beating the M4 on multiple aspects, with a damage per second of just over 168,000. And the bronze medal goes to the Bullfrog, with just under 155,000 damage per second. Now that you know how it works, let's steamroll through the other categories. The details can, of course, be found on screen. The light machine guns have the Bakan in the number one spot, the M249 in the second, and the Hungry Hog in third. We have divided the marksman rivals into two separate categories, the semi-automatic and the bolt action. The first spot in the semi-automatic goes to the Tenebri. Silver goes to its slightly different variant, the Scar H, and the third place is for the SVD. The first place in the bolt action goes to the classic M44, followed by the hunting M44, and in the third spot, the M700 Carbon or Tactical. Pretty much any M700 that is not the model, M7, the model 700. The submachine guns can be divided into the Burst MP5 in the first place, the Tommy Gun in the second, and the PP19 is the third. Following the submachine guns are the shotguns which, like we said, are a category on their own, since they single-handedly have the best firearm scaling in the game. We would recommend it... We would only recommend shotguns if you are rocking about 8,000 firearms or more. The reason for this is because it increases the flat damage to a one- or two-shot kill. Though, DPS-wise, it doesn't really matter, since with low firearms, you're gonna do a lot of damage still but they're just so much more efficient when you have a lot of firearms. In the first place of the shotguns is the Super 90. The second place actually goes to the double barrel shotgun. 
and the third place goes to the classic M870. For the double barrel shotgun you can also exchange this for the Cassidy. But we didn't account for the boomstick talent so at this point they are similar if you don't look at the talent. And finally we've also calculated it for the sidearms or essentially the pistols because we won't mention the sawed off shotgun. If we would have it would have won by miles as it has the same base damage and firearm scaling as the double barrel shotgun. It is pretty much the same weapon except you can equip it in your secondary slot. I mean in your sidearm slot. Anyway, the number one pistol goes to the officer's M9 due to the slightly larger clip than its fellow variants. The second place goes to the 93R and the third place goes to the exotic version of the M9, the Damascus. Of course, and you know this, we wanted to mention some mechanics that affect the damage per second quite considerably. In the Assault Rifle class, the Urban MDR has next to its awesome base damage and firearm scaling, also increased headshot damage and the distracted talent, which increases the damage by quite a lot. But if you did not get your hands on this exotic piece, the G36 is a very good follow-up. In the light machine gun category, the Hungry Hog rises above the others if you include the unique weapon talent Gluton. But you do have to proc it, otherwise the Pakan is better. In the marksman rifle categories, we prefer the bolt action. If you are accurate, you can apply more damage than with a semi-automatic. Because their only redeeming factor is their rate of fire and large magazine. But if you miss a lot of shots of the high rate of fire, you might as well use a bolt action. Unless, of course, you are extremely close to them and you can spam in their face. Though the classic M44 has the highest base damage and firearm scaling, it lacks some mod slots. But this is still better than the custom M44 since this one is the worst out of the M44 variants. Also the M700 Carbon, not mentioned in our top 3, has more mod slots and a unique weapon talent called Elevated. This increases the damage by an alert 10%, which makes it an interesting pick, but the classic M44 still exceeds it in damage. If you prefer the semi-automatics, the Scar H or its other variants is the best option. And for the submachine guns, which are actually quite interesting, the Burst MP5 comes out on top, but the burst delay hasn't been added to the calculations. So on paper it looks slightly stronger, or actually quite a bit stronger, in its, than it is in practice. The burst delay can cause a drop of about 20,000 damage per second. Still making it a decent pick, but not as good as the Tommy gun. Which, in, on its own, has a lot of recoil. And even though it has a, good, a pretty good unique weapon talent, the accuracy and stability can't compete with some other submachine guns. So, ending up on the PP-19, which is pretty much always a safe pick, with its great handling and magazine size. For the shotguns, you want to note that our formula assumes that you hit every pellet at the maximum rate of fire. Since this is, once again, an accuracy problem, we won't get into it any further. The preferred sidearm is always the sawed of shotgun. Due to the raw damage, we do recommend to switch it out if you feel the need for some extra range in your kit. Then we'd suggest the Officer's M9, due to the large clip and a decent rate of fire. And some of the other sidearms have way too high rate of fire to maintain by yourself, so don't look too much for rate of fire on your sidearms. To conclude, we can say that the shotguns and marksman rifles benefit the most from their base damage and firearm scaling. But keep in mind that these weapons are specialized and only fit a certain role. Next to this, accuracy and stability play an important role in taking down your opponent. And landing successive shots with these weapons can be quite hard. We only recommend to use these in their respective fields, so short or long ranges. Besides these, you're best off for both high and low firearm builds to use the Urban MDR. Other weapons that are good when you, are, when you have little firearms are the SCAR H and the Super 90, since these will help to pump out the most damage without any firearms at all. 
I want to thank you guys a lot for watching. We've put in a lot of effort into calculating all these factors and all that stuff. We actually account for the amount of time it takes to reload, the amount of time it takes to empty a clip, and how much damage one clip can do. So any shots missed will make the DPS considerably lower. So keep that in mind. And we didn't account for the unique talents. Don't forget this. All right. Now that you've watched this completely, I hope you guys can go out and find the best weapon for your build. If you have any questions or if you want to have a look at our data, they'll be linked in the description down below. I hope to see you guys in the next video on the Mastermind channel.